Hi, this is Brooks, and this is the final installment of my simple calculator tutorial for App Inventor 2. If you'll recall from part 3, we have the calculator functioning as planned when the user enters a number, an operator, another number, and then the equals button. But what if the user enters a second operator instead of the equals button? We run into problems. Here's why. We have three variables current, previous, and operator. When the user enters a number, it is assigned to current. When the user enters an operator, that operator is assigned to the operator variable, and the value in current is moved to previous, resetting current to zero. The user then enters another number, which is assigned to current. If the user then clicks an operator again, the value in current is once again moved to the previous variable, overriding the value that was in it. So in essence, we have lost that value. To fix this, we need to rework our code to allow for the possibility that the user would use the calculator this way. As is always the case when coding, there are many ways to accomplish this. I considered the problem this way. How can the app know if the user has already entered two numbers and an operator? One solution could be to check to see if there's already a value in the previous variable when the user clicks the operator button. If there is already a value in the previous variable, then the operator button must have been pressed before. There is no other way for values to be assigned to that variable. In this case, the operator button block must take the previous calculation into account before proceeding. I chose to add an if-then block to the operator button click procedure. First, we'll remove the blocks in our procedure and set them aside. After that, we add an if-then block. Go ahead and add an else block too. We want to check if there is a value already stored in the previous variable. I'll add a not equal to block and set the parameters as get global previous and the number zero. If the check comes back as true, meaning there is a value in global previous that does not equal zero, then we need to emulate what we did in the equals button block. In fact, we can just duplicate the entire equals button series of blocks and move them closer to the operator button click procedure so we have room to work. We pull the contents out of the copied equals button and place them into the then section of our new if then else block. This is telling the app that when a user clicks the operator button, check to see if there is a value already stored in previous, which would indicate that the user has pressed the operator button at least once already. If there is a value, then the operator button must go ahead and perform that earlier calculation, much like the equals button would do, and store that result into previous before proceeding as it did before. We need to change all four of the set global current blocks to set global previous. We also need to delete these two bottom blocks, the set label one dot text and set global previous blocks. If the check comes back false, meaning that the value in previous is equal to zero, then we want the procedure to proceed as it originally did. Now we return to the blocks we set aside before and break them up into individual blocks. We place the set global previous to get global current into the else section of our if then block. We place the remaining three blocks at the bottom of the procedure outside of the if block. We put them on the outside because we want them to happen in both cases of the if-else check. And now we test it to see that it works as we had hoped. There is probably a better way to do this. I see that there is some similar code in this procedure and the equals button blocks, which I suspect could be collected into yet another procedure, but this works. If you're interested, I encourage you to improve this code and share it in the comments section. I hope you've had fun building this app, and I hope it's helped you learn a little bit about how to use App Inventor. Thanks again for watching my tutorial. 
Stay tuned as I plan on making a few more of these. Keep building apps and have fun.